Hi, this is Tech again and today I want to do, well, a Volt Mod guide mostly, but also just a bit of rambling about this here P5K. Now this is the bone stock P5K. So like, not, it's not the lowest end board, but it's like the base P5K. Uh, I specifically bought this because, uh, well, I have other P5K versions, mostly these WS boards. But I wanted to see what the, I would say, most popular board from back in the day can do. So this is a bit unusual one. I'm going to film the Volt Mod guide before I'm actually doing the Volt Mod myself. Because I completely and utterly ran out of their resistors. And mine are still in the post somewhere. And I hope they will arrive sometime soon so I can do a follow up to this. And I'm planning to do a follow-up basically with the scores and me benching this instead of just another like bench talk here. Uh, so for now, I, I can only show you uh, basically where the, the stuff is and do the detailed vault mods on the computer because I feel confident enough in them working because I have plenty of experience with these P5K boards now, by now, but just not with the, the normal one. This is a WS, fully modded. Uh, now let's begin with V-Core. Uh, V-Core on this board is, is one of the reasons I prefer the, the higher end P5Ks, because this here is a three phase. There is three around here. Uh, they didn't even fully populate the uh, output filters here. Uh, input filters also. That's also a missing capacitor. Um, it, it's not really a strong VRM at all. However, should be same controller as the other one. This is our VCore controller. Which doesn't focus again. Uh, there is... Well, I'm going to show it on the computer because I, I don't think I can, can really show it here. Uh, now, this board is, as all the P5K variants, I think um, pretty limited in, in the BIOS options. The maximum for V-Core on here is uh, 1.7 volts. So, not really all that great to fully max out any core to do. Um, Northbridge? Here I'm, I'm also going to do some more mods. This is uh, unpopulated capacitor bed. These two are not really all that good. So I'm going to likely replace those or at least add some stuff on the back. So on these pads, this here, maybe some small MLCCs behind the north bridge. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Anyways, a north bridge here, voltage limit in BIOS is uh, 1.7 volts, which is, I would say, technically fine for most stuff, but the steps are quite, uh, quite coarse, so you, you go straight from uh, 1.55 to 1.7, so not that good. The uh, controller for this, this VRM here is this chip here, underneath the heat pipe. Uh, measurement points, these, these caps I mentioned before. Uh, so, Northbridge is mostly that you have fine, like fine control. Uh, memory, this VRM underneath the memory slots. You can just grab from one of the memory uh, filtering caps here. Your measurement points, I guess. Uh, the controller is this here, same, same controller. I think it's a RT7120 or something like that. Uh, really simple single phase uh, controllers. Uh, memory, I, I just do it because I do it. I think the maximum bias is like 2.6 or 2.5 volts already. So actually it should be fine to run these without, but like I mod a, a lot of things on these boards. So might as well just do memory as well. Uh, let's move on, VPLL on this board. Took me, didn't even take me that long on this one to find. Uh, it's this fat here that makes VPL. 
the upper pin here is the output pin and on this LM324 uh, there is uh, our well it's just a op amp so it's driven as a linear regulator you can hook up your little uh, potentiometer here I will show you that in detail as well there is also the VTT rail or PLL termination however you like to call it it's this fat here and it's driven rather well this one is in a rather crowded place unfortunately it's right between the slots uh, I, I hope I will manage to solder this without uh, like burning the PCI slots or PCIe slot rather PCI slot I don't care about I have three of those and I just need one for my postcode uh, other modifications I'm planning to do on this obviously cooling North Bridge is going to go on single stage my my target on this board is uh, 670 FSB so far uh, I, I don't know if it will do it this is just a random sample uh, basically after after messing with the the workstation board and taking the uh, P35 overall record on this one uh, I decided that I wanted to mess a bit with the stock board and I just uh, basically went out and, and bought the next one I, I that like I came across this one here I think was uh, 10 euros plus shipping which is rather expensive I would say for a P5K uh, my WS board I picked up like I think three or four of them five bucks each and usually you can find p5k variants uh, around that price it's not like any high-end board whatsoever uh, actually when I was looking for this one I, I, I stumbled across a p5k dash e I think or deluxe no uh, Dash E premium something some other one for five bucks and I also ordered that one it, it still didn't arrive though so maybe that one later I, I kind of uh, got addicted to, to P35 I guess uh, oh well it, it's at least not as, ex as expensive as like getting addicted to Rampage Extremes which I also did so nice and cheap at least uh, again this board really should perform better than than it looks on first impression because this really looks super cheap with this like brown pcb and and the three phase vrm and this tiny little cooler four pin it's, it's just such a cheap and garbage looking board but if scores are anything to go by this is going to be awesome and uh, from the testing I did so far BIOS behavior seems good as well so only only thing I that might get in the way is that it has a different clock gen uh, than the the usual uh, 918 BKL but I think we also have BIOS control for this one easily uh, you know as FSB set FSB control so should be no problem at all uh, just might not be as fine of uh, the, the steps might not be as fine as on the 918 BKL I, I'm not sure anyways besides that we have the not really all that high quality SATA ports on here but again doesn't matter not relevant for overclocking I'm going to oh one really positive feature of this board compared to the other ones it has a socketed BIOS chip so I can just take this out and hard flash the whatever BIOS I want on there basically that's really amazing because the other ones have this one it's soldered they had a SBI header but of course I lost my my cable so kind of pointless uh, I think that's enough rambling for now. I will now move on to the actual volt mod guide for this. Uh, pretty similar to the other board, just the placement of everything is different. So, see you at the computer. Okay, so here we are, as usual, starting off with vCore. Now this is, again, like with the other P5K variants, normal feedback mod. This here is your feedback pin. 
and it goes out to here and you also have it here. From there, same as usual, a little variable resistor towards ground like here. Now for values, this being a P5K variant, I would recommend 10 to 20 kilo ohms. Now this board, same as the last P5K, uh, you can basically use 20 kilo ohms everywhere and you will be fine. Now ground spots, uh, this unpopular capacitor pad, you can use that. I wouldn't because, well, I would rather put a capacitor there. Uh, also this screw hole here. So that's that's your ground spots in the area. You can probably like put the battery resistor over here somehow, over these parts, and hot glue it there and like bend one leg straight over to the screw hole. Now next up would be north bridge voltage. So let's minimize this. Here we are. Now this is our chip. So let's switch the color. Uh, your feedback pin would be well, this one here. And you also have it on the top of this resistor here. Now from there, uh, that's not good. You will see later why. Variable resistor towards ground. Like that. And this. And well, for grounds in this area, the easiest way would be these three unpopulated MLCC pads here. Now, one more thing in this area, while I'm at it, this here is your VTT FAT. So that is one of them, actually it should be the next mod I think uh, we're going to do. Uh, this should be the output filtering capacitor for that. So keep that in mind when you're looking for like measurement points for VTT. Uh, values for the value resistor. Now, here I would say 5 to 20 kilo ohms. Now, I just left the 20 in here to make it easier to use all the same. Uh, 10 would be, be like optimal here, I guess. But it's 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 going to work perfectly fine with the 20. So and everything else will be 20. So I would use 20, and I will use 20 because I ordered like 30 of them. So that's that. Uh, let's move on. This here is our VPLL mod. The VPLL. FAT itself is down here, at the edge of the south bridge. Uh, now, let's find this here. Okay. And there is a second mod in this area as well, I'm going to do later. Uh, VPLL would be this pin here. That's also present right here and right here. And same as usual, variable resistor towards ground. Yeah. Now for this, uh, just use 20k ohms again. Now 20k is like the lower end for this, so that I, I usually would write uh, 20 to 50 kilo ohms here, but in this case I, I just went with 20. So the other mod in this area would be VMEM, which is this pin, 
and unfortunately this goes straight through this wire in the board so you have to solder to the pin directly so from there same as usual variable resistor towards ground this is going to get really repetitive as with the other board Here again, I would recommend uh, that's the wrong color 10 to 20 kilo ohms. So, again, another one of those 20s. Now, for ground spots in the area, best one would be here a good old uh, unpopulated capacitor pad, or there's also a screw hole up here, which is also good. Now, let's move on to the last one, which is VTT. Here we are. Now, this is a bit of a pain to solder, I think. I haven't done it yet, but I expect it to be. Uh, because the pin you want is this one here. Second pin, uh, left side of this uh, LM324 here. Also present on here and on here. I should probably put this up here again. There we go. And from this pin, same as usual, variable resistor towards ground. Now, the main differences here to the other P5K mod are just placement of the components. And that the uh, other one had uh, VTT and VPLL on the same LM322. Uh, there are, I think there is four op amps in this thing. I think that's that's the way these are done. There's like, those are the the, the supply pins, and then there is uh, one here, two, three, and four. I think that's how those are structured. So that's why on the other one we saw it on on one of them, and here they are on two different ones for I don't know what reason. Anyways, uh, value for this would be same 20 kilo ohms now 20 kilo ohms is again the low end here 20 to 50 i would say but my goal with this board is just to use the same for everything because it makes things so much easier now start values uh for your variable resistors always highest with feedback mode as usual on all of them that's why I didn't individually mention them like when you have mods where you replace stuff you sometimes have to set it to a specific value but uh, for feedback mods just always start out with the highest uh, resistance you can go anyways I think right we should mention ground points quickly probably uh, this one would be a good place or this unpopulated MLCC pad in this area now Personally, I like to put my uh, variable resistors on uh, stuff like the I.O. so you can use the straight case ground there. Uh, I hope this helped and you can enjoy your P5Ks a bit more now. Bye.